we're going to practice using conditionals together in Scratch. So first thing you want to make sure of is that you have a sprite chosen that you're going to program. And then I went ahead and just went into my event blocks and dragged over the when green flag clicked block. We're just going to have this program start right away on green flag click. So now we're going to go to our blue sensing blocks and we're actually going to ask our user a question. So I'm going to drag over this light blue block that says ask and wait. And then in here, I'm going to double click and delete this and I'm going to ask um, a quiz question. So we're going to say ask um, what is the capital city of California, California, question mark. All right, so let's test what we have so far just to make sure that that's doing what we want. So I'm just gonna test it by clicking here. Okay, great. So, so far, when our user clicks the green flag, our sprite's going to ask a question, and then the answer box pops up for our user to respond. So, now we're going to write our if-then statement. We want something to happen if they answer correctly, and we want something different to happen if they answer incorrectly. So, we're going to need to go into our control blocks. And we're going to use the if then else block down here. And we'll put that right there. Now we're gonna set our if statement at the top equal to a particular answer. So we're going to need our operator blocks. And here's where we can find the equal sign block. So we're gonna say if Whatever the answer is, is equal to the correct answer. And I'm just going to type the correct answer in here. So the capital city of California is Sacramento. The trick here is our player is going to have to remember to capitalize the word Sacramento because it's the name of a city. So if they don't capitalize Sacramento, they're going to get it wrong as well. Um, okay, so if mm, equals Sacramento then. So now we want to say if the answer that they type in here is equal to Sacramento. So we're going to go back to our sensing blocks, those light blue blocks. And here's our answer block. This is the, the um, block that's going to look for what the person types in when we ask a question. So we're just going to drag that over and drop it inside our equal sign operator. There we go. So if answer equals Sacramento, then, and then we're going to choose something for our sprite to do. So I'm going to go ahead and say, um, I'm going to have our sprite say, um, well done, or yes, Sacramento is the capital city. Well done. And I'll make this a little longer so they can read it. Three seconds. All right. Now, if they get the answer wrong or if they don't type in Sacramento exactly as we have it here, they're going to get um, another comment instead. I'm going to make her say, um, that is incorrect. Try again. And maybe I'll give them a little hint in case they forgot capital letters. We'll say in, in parentheses. You know what? We can actually put more than one command. So I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to say right after that, and we're going to need it to pause in between. Oops. There we go. We'll wait um, not a whole second. I'm going to make it half a second. So 0 0.5 is a half a second. And I'm going to say, um, hint, do not forget to capitalize the name of a city. And we'll put that up there as well. So let's go ahead. We're going to stop this and run it from the beginning and make sure that our if else statement works. So if they answer correctly, they get a well done. If they answer incorrectly, um, they're told that they were wrong and they can try again. So let's see. Okay, so she asked the question. Now let's type a wrong answer and see what happens. San Jose, check. Oh, that is incorrect. Try again. 
And there's our hint. Great. Okay, so now we don't have this on a forever loop. So let's um, go ahead and put the green flag again. And then let's say the correct answer this time, Sacramento, and she should give us a well done. And there we go. So now you're gonna go ahead and create a similar if else program. You can ask a different question and you can set the um, responses from your character to whatever you want and then test your program out to see if your if else statement works.